Hello. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hi. Hi. Good to see everybody. Okay. Thank That's you, guys. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Pedro. Okay. Good evening, Romero. Romeo. Good evening, coach. How are you? I'm fine, and you? Pretty good. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and okay, well, thank you guys very much for connecting. Uh, I appreciate that a lot. I know that um, sometimes the circumstances are not the most convenient, uh, but I thank you very much for uh, making the effort, okay? So, se les agradece muchísimo por el esfuerzo, ¿verdad? Que, que hacen, a, sé, sé que a veces no son las circunstancias ideales, ¿verdad? Pero el hecho que ustedes se conecten y todo muestra eh, el, um, el nivel de, de, uh, de dedicación que ustedes tienen, ¿verdad? Y así es de que les agradecemos. Además que, pues, siempre es algo favorable para ustedes, ¿verdad? Porque... Siempre hay más práctica. Entonces, um, el día de hoy vamos a hacer un poquito de repaso. Okay. Um, we are going to be taking attendance, but because um, I think there are still some people that are going to be connecting, um, I will take attendance in about five more minutes, okay? So I'll give everybody a little bit of chance to connect, um, and then we'll we'll take the attendance, okay? Sounds good? Okay. All right, great. Okay, so um, we're going to quickly do a little bit of a review. Um. Okay, so let's look at uh, this vocabulary here. Uh, we have aspirin. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, Rafael. Okay. I'm sorry, I might. <laughs> All right, good. Um, I'm glad you're able to, to connect. Okay, thank you. Thank you for connecting. Thanks. Okay. All right. So we have words like we have words like aspirin, bread, a dictionary, gasoline, a sandwich, stamps, a sweatshirt, traveler's checks. What are traveler's checks? Do you remember this? Traveler's checks? Cheques de viaje. Sorry, could you repeat? Cheques de viaje o para viaje. Cheques del viajero. Cheques de viajero. Very good. Cheques de viajero. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So this this um um this uh, traveler's check is for like I we we were talking about that it's not something that is um. It's common now because, you know, there are other ways you can you can um, travel safely uh, with your money, which is like you can do transfers, um, you know, so it's it's easier that way. But let's remember from these places, we have a bank, a drugstore, a post office, a gas station, a restaurant, bookstore, a department store, a supermarket. From these, this vocabulary, Let's see if you remember where you would get these place these things. Okay, so aspirin, we know we would get it at a drugstore. Bread. Where would you get bread? Bang. Mm -hmm. Where? Where where would you get Bang. the bread? Yes, correct. Um, In a supermarket. In the supermarket, right? You get the bread at the supermarket. Okay, good. Um, what about 
a dictionary. Where do you get a dictionary? A uh, bookstore. Yeah, at a bookstore. A bookstore. Exactly. You get it at a bookstore. Gasoline. Where do you get gasoline? A gas station. A gas station. A gas station. Exactly. Very good. A sandwich. Where would you get a sandwich? A restaurant. A restaurant. At a restaurant. Exactly. Very good. Um, a, uh, stamps. Where would you get stamps? A post office. Mm -hmm. Good. A post office. And a sweatshirt? A post office. Yes, correct. And a sweatshirt? Where would you get a sweatshirt? A department store. A department store. Yes, a department store. Mm -hmm. And traveler's checks? And a bank. A, a bank. bank, yeah. Traveler's check a would bank. be in a bank. Very good. Bank. Okay. Do you have questions about this vocabulary? No. no, no, no question. No, not at all. No questions at all. Okay. So this vocabulary is clear, right? Okay. All right, so what we're going to do right now, we are going to, that was just a letter review about what we did yet, um, the other day, and we are going to right now take attendance, okay? So if you hear your name, please, um, please uh, turn on your camera and you can say present. Okay, so here we go. Um, Aaron Alberto Peraza Martel. Aaron Alberto. Okay. Um, okay. Lo que sí les voy a pedir, chicos, a que aunque estén de oyentes eh, que se puedan uh, por favor uh, solo con, con, si pueden contestar ahí que están para que uh, que están presentes en clase para que podamos ahí tener ese registro de que se comprobante que se han estado en clase um, Adriana Beatriz Rodríguez present thank you Ana Mercedes Solorzano Najarro. Ana Mercedes Solorzano Najarro. Blanca Rosa Hernández de Rosales. Blanca Rosa Hernández de Rosales. Daniel Osvaldo Aquino Correa, Coreas. Daniel Osvaldo Aquino Coreas. Dora Stephanie Mejia Mejia. Present. Thank you. Edwin Adonai Janes Calderón. Edwin Adonai Janes Calderón. Eloisa Abigail Ortiz de García. Present. Thank you. Uh, Gloria Elizabeth Orellana de Mayen. Gloria Elizabeth Orellana de Mayen. Present teacher. Thank you. Henry Oswaldo Quintanilla Lopez. 
Henry Osvaldo Quintanilla Lopez. Hugo Adalberto Orellana Vides. Hugo Adalberto Orellana Vides. Uh, José Ángel Hernández López. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Uh, Juan Alberto Cabrera Herrera. Juan Alberto Cabrera Herrera. Catherine Stephanie Salazar Serrano. Catherine Stephanie Salazar Serrano. Um, Catherine Jamilet Aviles García. Catherine Jamilet Aviles García. Kenia Vanessa Van, uh, Funes Espinosa. Que, eh, Kenia Vanessa Funes Espinosa. Kevin Adria, Adriana Rodríguez López. Kevin Adrián Rodríguez López. Kimberly Natali Contreras González. I am here, teacher. Wonderful. Thank you, Kimberly. Marvin Alberto Morales Lorson. Present. Okay, wonderful. Maino Alexander Santos Solís. Maino Alexander Santos Solís. Pamela Noemi Pineda Ayala. Pamela Noemi Pineda Ayala. Pedro Nathan Ramirez Andrade. Present teacher. Okay, thank you very much, Pedro. A Rafael Antonio Aguilar Carpio. I present means. Thank you. Um, Romeo Antonio Gutierrez Cerrón. Present. Thank you. Ruth del Carmen Rosales Villeda. Present. All right, thank you very much, Ruth. Uh, Sandra Guadalupe Alparo Herrera. Present, Miss. All right, thank you. Mm, Sonia Yanira García de la Cruz. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Víctor Manuel Argueta Rauta. Víctor Manuel Argueta Rauta. Ok, eh, necesitamos que encienda su micrófono, Víctor, porque si no, no se oye. Eh, solo puede ser present. Okay. Uh, Janira Guadalupe Cumi de Rivera. Janira Guadalupe. El compañero en, en el chat puso presente. Sí, eh, pero necesitamos uh, voz porque como, no sé si ya les he explicado que. Ok, thank you, thank you very much. Sí, es que lo que pasa es que como el video. Um, eh, es auditado por Isafor y como ellos solamente ven el video y no los chats, entonces para tener comprobantes se necesita eh, tener la confirmación de voz. Ok. Uh, Judy Edith Chávez de eh, Herarte. Judy Edith. Ok. All right, guys. Eh, bueno, primeramente a los que se han conectado, muchísimas gracias ahí por, uh, por toda su colaboración. De veras que demuestra su empeño eh, y um, su, su esfuerzo realmente no, no pasa desapercibido. Eh, se, les agradecemos mucho su colaboración y también eh, pues esto es para, para el 
el aprendizaje de ustedes, ¿verdad? Entonces, al final, quien siempre sale ganando es usted mismo. Así que muchas gracias. Um, bueno, vamos a continuar. Um, let's continue here with the vocabulary. So, um, we were looking at this vocabulary yesterday. moment. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so prepositions of place. Um, so we have, um, here we have the word on, and on is used for streets, okay? So just a little bit of Um, just a little bit of background. So we use um, streets. In English, we have streets, avenues. Um, we also have uh, roads, boulevards, boulevards. Um, and I think that's it. Yeah. Sorry? Across. Across. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but we're, we're talking about just um, the types of streets that we have, okay? And we also have highways. Okay, we also have highways. Do you know highways? No? Okay, so streets, streets uh, in Spanish, is, how do you, what do you call streets? Calle. Calle mm -hmm. o carretera. Um, this is more like una calle. Okay. Okay. Um, avenues? Avenida. Avenidas, okay, good. Roads? Mm -hmm. Caminos. Caminos. Ajá, un camino. Eh, ah. También se puede ser calle, pero es como más una, una calle más pequeña, más um, eh, como un ¿Como pasaje. Podríamos ¿Cómo? decirlo en español. Ah. Ah, podría ser un pasaje. O acceso. Un acceso, ajá, algo así. Mm -hmm. Ya. Yeah. Then we have boulevards. You, you understand boulevards, right? There's like in Spanish, right? Yeah. Boulevard. And highways. Highways, do you know what highways are? For example, the, there is a highway that goes to the airport. Everybody knows there's a highway to the airport. Okay, do you know, do you know a uh, highway? Yeah, exactly. So how do you say that in English? Highway. Como autopista. Very good. Autopista. Actually, uh -huh. would you say, I don't know, would you say highway, autopista are the same? Highway, uh, hi sorry, would you say, sorry, would you say autopista and carretera are the same? I don't know. What do you think? Ustedes díganme. No estoy muy segura. Is, is carretera and autopista the same? No, no, no es lo mismo. Bueno, yo no entiendo que sea lo mismo. So, what do you understand by, um, by, what do, what do you understand by autopista? Teacher, freeways. Yeah, what yeah. Freeways? That, that's what I, that, a eso quiero llegar, pero primero que necesito entender, eh, what do you understand by autopista? Bueno, según 
O sea, yo entendería que autopista prácticamente es la que conecta un punto A de un punto B, lo que se podría referir entre ciudades directamente. Y una carretera podríamos suponer que es un recorrido mucho más largo. Por ejemplo, la carretera Panamericana que inicia desde una punta hasta la siguiente para hacer una conexión todavía más larga. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, so... So in this case, autopista would be a highway, okay? Um, okay, so yeah, that, that would be, so yes, you're absolutely right. Um, it would be a long road that it's very fast moving within uh, a, a city, okay? Yes. Now, then we have freeway. A freeway. Do you, what, what do you understand by a freeway? Do you know what is a freeway? Carretera, como carretera libre, algo así, no sé. Exactly, it's, uh -huh. it's exactly, it's una carretera libre. It's, it's basically one of those, um, it, you have to go very, very fast, fast on a freeway. So because it's, yes, it's um, a very, very long street that connects uh, two cities together, or it may even, it may even uh, connect to provinces, to departments, to states, that's a freeway. So because of that, it's a very fast moving. Um, it's, you can't really stop on a freeway, okay? Like there, you you go very, very fast. Like, uh, like maybe you can go at, I don't know, 70, uh, 80, 90, 100 kilometers per hour or even 120 it depends on the freeway okay do we understand this vocabulary yeah okay so for all of these for all of these words that we have here Oops, sorry. So for all of these words that we have here, okay, so for all of these words that we have here, we use the word on. Okay, so on, for example, on, it's on, um, I don't know, Main Street. It's on 2nd Avenue. It's on uh, Park Road. It's on a Central Boulevard. It's on Highway 95. It's on Freeway I-72, okay? So we use the word on. What does it mean on in Spanish? Sobre. Sobre, mm -hmm. exactly. All right, is that pretty clear for everybody? Do we understand? Yes. Yeah? yeah, any questions? <laughs> En este caso siempre va a ser esa preposición. Oh. On, yes. No puede ir in. No. Okay. No. You would say on. So to give, to talk about where something is located, you say on the da, 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 street. Okay. Or on the avenue. Okay. Sounds good? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now. Then we have on the corner of, okay? So we could say, to give an example, it's, 
Okay, so we can say it's on. You can say, for example, it's on the corner. No, oh, sorry. My mistake. It's on the corner of, and then we have to say the two streets. Okay. So we would say it's on the corner of. For example, um, Ninth Street. And Third Avenue. Okay, so on the corner of, we would have to say the two streets, the two types of streets. Okay? Does that make sense? It's clear? Yeah? Okay. All right. Then we have across from. So we have to talk about what is on the other side of the street. Okay, so we can say, it's Okay, just give me a second, guys. Just a second. Okay, um, it's on. Uh, okay, um, so we say it's across from. And then you say the place, okay? It's across from, a, to give an example. So where is, um, where is Hospital, for example, Hospital Bloom? Do you guys know where is Hospital Bloom? Do you know? No? Nobody knows? Okay, what about uh, where is um, Dean Marin? Where is Dean Marin? Next to Okay, it's yeah, we could say it's next to. Um, it's true. Um, no sé si. yeah, we could, yeah, we could say that it's across, across. Sorry, across from uh, Hospital Rosales, right? Okay, if, better if I ask you, where is Parque Cuscatlán? Okay, so where is Parque Cuscatlán? It's across from Hospital Rosales. Does that make sense? It's across from. 
So it means that Hospital Rosales is on the other side of the street. Okay? Now, if I ask you, where is the Marin? Then we can say, it's next to... Uh-huh. It's next to what? Yes. It's next to... It's next to... The Cuscatlan Park, for example. Okay, it's next to Cuscatlan Park. So it means it's right, it's like neighbor. The neighbor is the Cuscatlan Park. Okay. All right. Um, and then we have between. Mm, let me think, let me think. Um, between, between Ignacio Nacional yeah. and mm -hmm. Cusco del Park. So, sería uh, Cusco del Park between Ignacio Nacional. Okay. The word between means that it's, it has two points, okay? Um, mm, let me think. ¿Qué, qué está ahora en qué, qué está enfrente de, de la biblioteca? Bolívar. ¿El qué? El Parque Bolívar. No. ¿Parque Bolívar es? No sé, no estoy segura. Plaza Gerardo Barrios. Plaza Gerardo Barrios. Es el que está enfrente del, 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 de, el, de la biblioteca. Okay, all right. Okay, so so we can say Plaza Gerardo Barrio. Where is it? Okay, so we can say it's between. Okay, Plaza Gerardo Barrios. Um Okay, so it's between, cathedral. yeah, the cathedral, very good. The, I'm oh, no, sorry, sorry, between, perdón, between. Okay. It's between the cathedral and the National Library. Okay, does that make sense? It's between the cathedral and the National Library. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, any questions about this? Means? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, says it's between uh, San Salvador and Tuscatla and uh, La Libertad. Okay, so you would say, you say the thing, for example, if I say, if I'm saying the sentence, um, you can say, uh, Plaza Gerardo Barrios. Let's 
smaller so I can fit. Okay, so Plaza Gerardo Barrios. In this case, we're not going to say it's because we have a subject. So we can say Gerard, uh, Plaza Gerardo Barrios is between. Okay, is between. So, um, so Plaza Gerardo Barrio is between the cathedral and the National Library. So we have to say the thing that is in the middle. Okay, do we understand? Do you understand or no? Yes. Yeah? Do you have questions? Okay, I'm going to send this to the group so you guys can have it right there. Okay, let me just stop sharing. Okay, I'm going to share it right now. Okay. Do you see? Do you see in in the group right now? I just sent the the picture. Do you see it? Yes. Okay. Perfect. All right. Very good. Um. So what I'm going to ask you to do. I'm going to share again. Um, can you see my screen? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We have um we have this picture here of a town or a city. Okay. And what I want you to do is I want you to use the information that you have here. I'm sorry, use, use this map. So we have, we have Center Street, Second Avenue, First Avenue, Main Street, Park Street. Okay, so what I want you to do is complete um, the different things we have here, um, coffee shops, movie theaters, gas station, where are the places located? Please use on, on the corner of, across from, next to, in between. Okay, and I'm going to send this part too as well for you guys to, to complete. Okay, just a moment. Can you guys um see the screen? The the picture in this in the sorry, not see the screen, the picture in the group. Yes. Okay, so what I'm gonna ask you guys to do is I need you to complete complete this using the vocabulary. 
Okay. So I'll give you a few minutes to do, to work this out. If you have any questions, you can ask me. No problem, I'm here to help you. Okay, about two more minutes and then we're checking.
Okay. Are you ready to check? Can we check? Yes, can we check everybody? Hola chicos, ¿podemos revisar o no? ¿Están listos? Yes. Yeah? Everybody's ready? Okay, let's uh, check then. Um, so, let's do the first one. Um, okay. Um, the coffee shop is on Second Street. It's um, the coffee shop. Next two, yeah, next two. Good. Next two. Good, excellent. Um, all right, the movie theater is Um, um, on Notice, and no, it's me. across across from no. Across no no park park in this case and we're talking about the street this is park street and this is main street notice park street main street so it's, the movie theater is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. On, is on the corner of. Okay, it's on the corner of. So far so good? Do we understand this? It's okay? Yes, no? Almost bien? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay. All right, good. In the corner of Park and Main. It's It's across. Perfect. Across from. It's across from the park. Okay? Because if you notice, uh, the movie theater is on this side of the street and the park is on the other side of the street. Across from the park. The gas station is. The gas station is Avenue. No, this is uh, the gas station is da, 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 the parking lot. The parking lot is here. Across? Yes, very good. It's across from. Don't not just say across, across from. Okay. So across from the parking lot. It's Yeah. 
next to. Mm, notice it says first and center. So first, we're talking about the street. Center, Between. we're talking about the, the street. And here's the gas station. So what do you think is the answer? On the corner. On yes. the corner of. Yes, perfect. It's on the corner of. It's on the corner of first and center. Okay. It's in the corner of first and center. The post office is. The post office is. So the so post office, where's the post office? Where is that at? Post office is right here, right? So center and center is here and second avenue is here. So the post office is oh on the corner yes. of on the corner of excellent on the corner of center and second. Okay, center and second. And it's next to hospital. Good. It's next to the hospital because the hospital is here, right? It's next to the hospital. Okay. Um, next we have the bank is and the bank is right here, right? So the bank is between. Very good, between. Okay, so the bank is between the restaurant and the department store. It's, it's, on. Perfect. It's on. It's on Main Street. Good. Any questions about this? Any questions? No, no, no question, please. No question. No. Okay. All right. Very good. For me, it's difficult. Las direcciones en español. En inglés todavía más. Entiendo, entiendo. Eh, la, sí, es que lo que sucede es de que uh, en El Salvador no tenemos la cultura de dar bien las direcciones. Las direcciones en, es, eh, en español, eh, o, o por lo menos en El Salvador, me había dicho, son como, eh, está, eh, um, está por salvador del mundo, um, a la par de el... Oh, una casa amarilla. Ajá, a la par de una casa amarilla, eh, Um, donde hay un, un puesto de pupusas, pero si quitaron el puesto de pupusas, si pintaron la casa amarilla de, de otro color, <ríe> entonces, uh, entonces uh, la, la mitad de las veces ni siquiera sabemos a veces cuál es el nombre de la calle. ¿Vean? Al menos que sea una, una calle muy famosa. No sabemos el nombre de la calle. Eh, y parte Me de... identifiqué el martes con eso. <ríe> ¿Por qué? <ríe> Fui a dar dos vueltas uh, por las tres torres a Salvador. Bueno, ya veo. Sí, y, y, y es comprensible también, entiendo, porque yo tengo, yo tengo, tengo una gran queja 
de que no están bien rotuladas las calles. O sea, solo las calles principales están rotura, rotuladas, pero la mayoría de las calles no lo están. Entonces, ¿cómo vamos a saber cuál es el nombre de la calle? ¿Verdad? Eso Solo... es verdad, porque por lo menos en Estados Unidos sí, en las esquinas está calle tal y calle tal, igual Exacto. que en Santa Tecla. Ajá, es cierto, es cierto, tiene toda la razón. Eh, oh, yo creo que si no me equivoco, en algún momento tal vez los pusieron, eh, si no me equivoco, en la parte de abajo, el, por la cuneta, pero eso se borra, el, es el problema, se borra con el tiempo, se, eh, después lo pintan y se borra, entonces... Bien difícil, entiendo, así que entiendo perfectamente que esto no sea una, algo fácil para ustedes. Um, pero sí, en, en inglés, esto es algo muy importante, porque en inglés, a diferencia de español, los países hablantes sí tienen calles muy definidas y entonces las personas sí se rigen por eso, eh, ¿verdad? Um, de um, a dónde están ubicadas las cosas. Está entre esta calle y la otra calle, ¿verdad? Pero les dicen directamente cómo se llama la calle. Y cada persona, como, aunque no, tal vez sea, no conozca la ciudad, pero fácilmente se rige por eso, ¿verdad? Porque están rotuladas, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí va a requerir un poquito de esfuerzo, pero yo sé que ustedes lo pueden lograr. Eh, todo en la vida se puede lograr. Yo les recomiendo que empiecen um, averiguando, por ejemplo, de dónde están, cuáles son las calles alrededor de su vecindario. ¿Ok? Y pueden incluso hacer como un pequeño mapita de su, de su vecindario para empezar a practicar, a est eso está enfrente del parque, ¿verdad? o está a la par de tal cosa, o está entre la calle tal y calle tal. ¿Okay? Entonces, si ustedes practican en su, en su vecindario, que ustedes ya lo conocen bastante bien, y después otros vecindarios que no conocen también va a ser más fácil. ¿Okay? Do you have any, okay. que any questions you want to ask me? No questions. I no questions. We need. No, no questions. Okay. Okay. Bueno, chicos, eh, that is going to be all for today. So, déjenme. Okay. Y recordarles, por favor, dos cositas. Necesito que... Um, uno, hagan la, terminen la plataforma de la, la, la sección 3 y el midterm uh, es lo mínimo que, que deben estar haciendo. Así que pueden hacer más. Si ustedes ya quieren hacer la 4 y la 5 y el examen final, perfecto, no hay problema. No tienen que ir a la par con nosotros. O sea, si estamos haciendo la sección 3, no tienen que estar haciendo solamente la sección 3. Pueden estar haciendo la 4 y la 5 si quieren. No hay problema. Um, así es de que el, um, les pido que por favor estén al tanto de este, de este fin de semana. Se estaría revisando eso, ¿verdad? Que, que ustedes están haciendo por lo menos la sección 3 y el examen medio. Lo otro es de que por favor uh, manden um, el comprobante del... Um, ¿Cómo se llama esta cosa? Se me ha ido. Manuel. Manuel. El, ah, el, el, ah, el comprobante de Manuel, correcto. Eh, por favor, todos estén pendientes de mandarlo, ah, porque también es otro de los requisitos que tenemos para que ustedes puedan tener su pase para el siguiente nivel. Entonces, acuérdense, tienen que cumplir con tareas para tener una nota de 80 mínimo tiene que cumplir con asistencia mínimo del 80 tam, tienen que, y tienen que um, bajar el manual. ¿Ok? Y, y mandar el comprobante. ¿Alguna inquietud que tienen? No, 
¿No? Ok. Bueno, entonces en este caso, si no hay mayor pregunta, entonces uh, estaríamos finalizando nuestra clase. Ok. So take care, everybody, and have a wonderful weekend. Ok. See you on Monday. Yeah, see you Monday. Thank you, teacher. All right. Good night. See you Monday. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.